Right, so I have spent more than 4,000 hours in this game to get Grand Champion. It's actually unbelievable, guys. But, guys, in this video, I will give you 10 tips on how to get GC. So, let's dive into the first tip, guys. Tip 1, the warm-up. Now, the warm-up has helped me out a lot with winning more games. I recommend to do 10 minutes of booming the ball around in free play. After those 10 minutes, you need to focus on your mechanics. I would suggest these three maps that are on screen right now. These are the three codes that you can use to improve your mechanics like flip resets, double taps, etc. 2. Play once once. Like guys, I know, I know what you all are saying right now. This could be so tilting, but just playing once will make you a better player over overall. So, it will help you with defending and controlling the ball. So, what I would suggest is just, if you play 3 hours a day Rocket League, I would suggest you to do 1 hour of once and then 2 hours of 2v2. Yeah, let's get into your tip. Tip 3, recoveries. Now recoveries are really useful in this game. It helps you with going back quicker. Two must learn recovery ways are the wave dash and the half flip. Make sure to watch my half flip tutorial if you want to learn how to half flip. Tip 4, watch pro players like Squishy Muffins, Zen, Monkey Moon, etc. Look at what they do and put those things in your own game. For example, like the, uh, their, their kickoff or like how they aerial or like the boost management. Like see what they do and replicate it into your own gameplay. Tip 5, mini pads. Mini pads are really useful in this game. It will keep your momentum and speed. Every mini pad gives you 12 boosts, so if you don't have time to get the big boost pad, make sure to uh, grab these small mini pads. Tip 6. Chase on the kickoff. I see so many people who will not chase on the kickoff, this is absolutely wrong. You want to chase on the kickoff, but not too much. Just keep a little distance between you and the ball. Instead, chase on the kickoff, like I do here. Tip 7. When to fast aerial plus when to aerial with the flick. Now this is a topic where a lot of low ranks make a mistake. Here's what I would suggest. If the opponent challenges, then fast aerial. However, if the opponent doesn't challenge, I would aerial with the flick or take your time. Tip 8. Overcommitting. Guys, one thing that you do not want to do is overcommitting. Only challenge when your teammate is behind you. Tip 9. Fake challenge. One thing you must learn when you come in higher ranks is fake challenging. This is really useful as you will most likely get a free ball. Do not always fake challenge though. I would suggest to fake challenge when the opponent has the ball in the corner. Tip 10. Demos. Now I know guys, this might seem a bit cringe, but demos are a great way to give yourself position. It allows you to have free time and maybe a free goal, but don't overdo it guys. Still focus on the ball and not too much on the demos. Now obviously guys, to reach Grand Champion will take you a lot of time. You need to put in a lot of hours in this game. A great mentality is also needed, but I hope this video was helpful for you. Like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching and see ya.